Um, all three of you guys are coming to Pacific from New Zealand at the same time. What is that transition like? Um, well, I mean, I've been here for about a month and a bit now, and it's been quite different, but like different in a good way. Like, I mean, like the weather here at the moment is like 20 million times hotter than back in New Zealand. Um, but yeah, that's good. It's definitely been helpful having the guys here. I hadn't actually met Daniel before, but already we're best friends, <laughs> eh? Um, yeah, it's, it's been it's been uh, settling in. Also, always tough, but the next couple of days, like it's been good. Like it's been really good so far. So I'm yeah. stoked. We've got a little fixer man over here, so he's he's very helpful. Yeah, the transition's not been the most fun, but culture and temperature's a lot warmer. Um, grew up playing with Daniel through high school and Bay through national level. Yeah. So it's definitely good playing with him again. How much does that help to be able to come together? So and much know that better, you have yeah. Each other yeah, here. no. It's like it's like pretty nice as well because you get like two others with like the same accent as you, like just makes life a bit easier and like they should understand like kind of like where you come from and stuff like that because like it is nice having a couple guys that like know where you're from and like all that sort of stuff so yeah it's cool. Yeah I feel the same way it's it's definitely much easier transition going from New Zealand culture to American culture um, yeah and we can have a little inside jokes exactly. and things like that and laugh at other people but yeah it's, it's definitely helpful. Yeah. So um how do you guys bring, I mean, you haven't been here long, you've been here a little bit longer, yeah. um, but how do you guys, you know, maybe there's a certain food you brought from home or, or something, but is there a, a piece of home? Is there a way that you've brought a piece of home here? Um, well, personally, um, I had a grandfather pass away on Wednesday and um, he gave me a flag when I came here. So that's kind of like a piece, it's like a New Zealand flag. So it's kind of like a piece that I've brought with me and that'll be with me my entire time here. So kind of a thing that I've decided to like keep it going and like yeah just it always like it always be on my wall and stuff so that's probably a piece of home for me. Yeah mine would probably be my ponamu which is like a, a Maori traditional necklace that you'll wear. Um, it was a like, 21st birthday gift and um, it's always very special and then I've also got my tamako here on my leg who's my family and friends that have passed away back home so it's always special to be able to bring those type of people with me wherever I go. Yeah. Same thing as Bear, we've got a Ponamu back at the house. Um, but yeah, just bringing over like small things that you can carry around with you all the time definitely is a lot easier than having like something large. You start that you're good. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Thank you. Um, so, how is it? I mean, you guys are, are just kind of diving in, but so far with the team practicing with them a little bit, being around with them in your team meetings, so many cultures, what is that yeah. like? I mean, it's super cool, like, you get, like, so many different people, so many different inside jokes, like, you, like, see the Serbians and stuff just laughing at you, you got no idea why, um, but, you know, like, it's really cool, actually, like, seeing, like, what, like, other people are, like, are like and, like, what they've kind of come from, and, um, yeah, like, it, it is a bit different to back, in, to back home because everyone's the same back home, and you come here and you get so many different people, so it is pretty cool. Yeah, we've moved into a house that's got two Kiwis, two Serbians, uh, S uh, Cuban, and an Israeli. So we've got a, a big uh, bundle of different people, and it's been full of laughs. Like, these Serbians are so funny. It's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. And they're just changing, changing with the team. Just everyone, they all have the same goal. They've all got the same idea. It's just the ways they approach things are different, and it's just a lot of fun to see. Why is this team special? And I know that you guys have only been here for a little while, but so maybe you said, I don't know yet, but you came here for a reason. I'm sure you felt something to start. So why do you think this team is special? Why did you come here? Well, I mean, like for me, like just being here for a month and a bit, like you kind of realize that you're playing with 15 to 20 other guys that are like, they've all played professional somewhere. They've all gone and like made like a water polo career out of it. And like they're here now, like they're all here with the same goal. And like it's just cool seeing like, and and like just being like just being around everyone like they're like actually like insane like players and stuff and like it's very different to the water polo culture back home where you might have a few good players per team but this one like it's very very solid team so yeah yeah I feel exactly the same way also we 
we've got a, such a strong team this year and going for the chip is actually an option. Like we can we can win this, I think, if we really dial down and work hard at trainings. So that's definitely a big reason why we came. And yeah, just like the experience playing with a bunch of guys that are just phenomenal players and then also good guys just to be around is makes it so much better. Yeah. Um, same thing, just going for the chip and speaking with the coach as well before we even came over kind of gave us like a good idea as to what we're doing and what roles we're playing in the team and how we'll be useful and impactful on the team as well. Um, you guys pretty much answered my next question, winning a national championship. Mm. That seems like that is... That's the goal. That's the goal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I've only got two years here, so yeah. it's got to work hard that. right now and get it, get it real quick. Um, yeah, so that's going to be the biggest goal so far. Yeah. Um, why, what would you say, now that you guys have been here, I mean only a little bit, but seeing how you've been welcomed and seeing how everyone else is kind of taking you, and you guys already touched on in the short time how you feel the culture from the team and how you feel like you've been taken in from everyone else. What would you say, saying there's someone else on your national team maybe or someone that you've played with back home in New Zealand, who is considering Pacific, what would you say? Uh, it's an awesome opportunity. Like, at first I was pretty skeptical. I was, got here, I was, I was a bit nervous, but as, as soon as I settled, I was just like, I just forgot about everything. I was just polo, water polo, water polo. And so, yeah, to say to someone back home, perhaps give it a go, you know? Don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone and Go pursue your dreams. Yeah. Would you guys want to encourage? I mean, at oh, this yeah. point, I oh, think yeah. we have yeah. groups of three, so technically you could overtake. Yeah. 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 I mean, um, also like, because back home, I like talked to a bunch of my coaches and stuff, and there's been quite a few of them that have come and played for other schools and stuff. And like UOP was like a, I was talking to my head coach um, for my club team, and he was like pretty like positive about UOP and like the culture that they have. So. Um, like heaps of coaches have been here and loved it. So even like even though it's scary going all the way across the world from New Zealand to the US, like it is it is like an awesome experience and like like I wouldn't change it kind of for anything else, which sounds kinda of cringe, but like I do mean that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not even just for UOP, every team seems to have the similar idea of you get a player from overseas, welcome them, make them feel part of the team, they are gonna be there to help you. And so no matter where they go, just follow your heart and just play. Well, guys, is there anything about um, yourselves, you guys as New Zealanders, collectively, the team, your journey, anything that we haven't touched on that you wanted to add? Um, we're not that hard to understand. <laughs> you can just uh, think about it. The same words, okay? Come on, <laughs> hurry up. Yeah, just like even words like water, like. I've been given so much trash for in the last like month, but I mean it's not that hard to understand. Yeah. yeah. Water bottle. Water bottle. Shut not up. Water bottle. Not left. yeah. <laughs> not water yeah, bottle. I'm, water bottle. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a goalie, so I'm yelling what way do they have to block, and I'm yelling left and right, and they're going. What? Left. <laughs> left. Left. <laughs> or better. I don't know what that's about. Better. Yeah, that's that's better. Or heaps as well. Heaps. <laughs> heaps is. You know what heaps means? Like there's heaps of something like a like a lot yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. there's like a lot no so one like no one understood it yeah, yeah. <laughs> so heaps this. i'm canadian so yeah. maybe that's why i don't know the canadians are definitely heaps. good